Okay, so now we're going to discuss what I consider to be the most valuable customer analysis tool available to you through the UNLV library. It's the MRI University Reporter, and it gives media and product usage information for the U.S. population. So you can see how this would be critical when you're doing a market uh, plan to be able to learn about the customers who actually use that product or at least operate in that product category. So let's get started. It's based on a survey of the American consumers um, and it covers um, 600 categories and 650 products. And it's a, um, it's, a, it's a survey that is conducted with panel data annually by MRI, um, which is, the, um, which is a, a, a research institute. And, uh, and, and so it's called uh, the University Internet Reporter. It's on, it's on a UNLV online database. This is a profiling system um, to gain insights and define targets to better understand consumers' media and, and product usage. You go to the UNLV libraries and find the list of databases on the home page. And you'll see here uh, A to Z list of databases. Click on that link. And then you need to find the MRI University Reporter. And then click on that link. Then follow the instructions. You'll need to register for an account. It's free and you'll need it for other classes uh, that are teaching you how to do marketing. So go ahead and do that now. And then you'll have that for the rest of your time here at UNLV. Uh, when you when you click on it, you will you will come to a spot where it says pocket piece and university reporter. Click on the university reporter, and on the university reporter, then click on the. Typically, we want the most recent data, but sometimes we can use data that's a couple of years old and compare it to the current data, especially if we think we have small sample sizes. Then you'll come to a screen, and in, in the case of what we're looking at as a sports marketer, you would click on the Leisure and Sports link. And then you would click on the Sports Events Attended link. And then you would click on something like Baseball, Major League Regular Season Games Attended in the Last 12 Months. So these are people who have attended a Major League Baseball game in the last So once again, this is how that data would ordinarily look. 12 months. Okay. <clears throat> and so I'm going to show you how to read this data so that you know how to you know how to interpret it and you know how to use it for other purposes. All right. So the very first thing to look at is, is what's called the base total. All right, and the and um, and in this in this study, it the base total projected population is 248,885, and of course, that is that is the number of people that MRI has calculated of 18 years and older in the U.S. population, 248,855. That number will be in the first column. The second number is the, it's called, it, it, you'll notice that it's a number that is, it's the projected population of the people who have done this particular thing. Okay, and so you'll notice that, that it, under, under total, it says 10,070. That means that according to this survey, 10,070,000 people different people attended a Major League Baseball game last year. Of those people, 5,673,000 of them were men and 4,396,000 were women. So that category that has the three zeros at the top of it gives you the projected number of people who have done the activity talked about at the top or referenced at the top of the page. Now things get a little bit more complicated. Okay. 
The next column over from those three those three zeros is called the percent detail or the profile. This is the percentage of people who have a certain characteristic defined by a column heading. In this case, attended a Major League Baseball game. Notice that 100% uh, corresponds to the people who meeting the tables criterion and not the population as a whole. In this example, 56.34% of the projected total of the people who attended a Major League Baseball game were men. And this, is, this calculation is made by dividing that 5,673 by the 10,070. If you look at the number right below that, uh, the, the uh, percent that graduated college that attended the game is 52.64%. Of course, you can see then how those numbers are calculated in each case. But each one of those is called a profile. And that is, it tells us of the population, 56.34% were men, 52.64% were college graduates, and a total of 69.24% had, had incomes over 75,000. We got that number, of course, by adding those two boxes together. So that's how you interpret the profile or detail column of data. The next piece of data is, and the next column over is called the percent target or market penetration. This is the percentage of people who have a certain characteristics as defined by the row heading. In this example, 3.42% of women 18 and over attended a Major League Baseball regular season game last year. Okay, this calculation is done by dividing the total number in that zeros column, the 4,396,000, ,000, by the total number of women in the population, 128,718. So that's how you get that 3.42%. So that tells us what percentage of women we've attracted to go to a baseball game. Some other examples here is that, uh, is, is that for instance, people with a postgraduate degree or more, uh, postgraduate degree education is 6.69% uh, of 18 plus college graduates attended a Major League Baseball game last year. And 3.4% of the 18 to 24 year olds attended a Major League Baseball game last year. You might notice that that is the second lowest percentage of people who attended the game. Only the 65 year old plus group had fewer fewer percentage of that population attend a game at 2.34%. And then finally, we have a number in the very last column, which is called the index number. This is also called um, the index of selectivity. Um, it compares that group to the total population. And it's calculated by dividing the percentage across of a group by the percentage across of the universe. So for instance, people who graduated college plus 6.69% divided by 4.05% yields a number of 165. And you'll notice that the, eight point, the 84 down there is 3.40 divided by 405 and the 209 is 8.44 divided by 405. Now, what does that number tell us? Okay, that number um, tells us how likely it is that that particular group attended a game. So for instance, uh, we have educated uh, with a graduate college, graduated college plus, 
That number is 165. That means that that particular group of people, college graduates, is 65% more likely than the general population to have attended a game. In terms of 18 to 24-year-olds, they are 16% less likely than the general population who have attended a game. And those that make 150000 or more were 109% more likely than the general population to attend a game. Now, this is an important number because it tells us how well we are doing with each particular group based on the roads. In summary, this secondary data is valuable input to understanding who your customers are and how they compare, for instance, to customers in other sports or in other markets.